Alright, let's look at example number one. So a lord a lord pula lord of two two hundred fifty kilogram is hung by a crane's cable. The load is pulled by a horizontal force here, such that the cable makes a thirty degree angle to the vertical plane. If the load is in equilibrium, okay, so if the load is in equilibrium, calculate the magnitude of the tension in the cable and the horizontal force, okay? So first, what should we do? We should always, 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 always start with a free body diagram, okay? So the free body diagram here is the ball, okay? So what is being experienced by the ball? Okay, so we know that the ball has a mass, so it would have a weight. Okay, weight. And then there's an external force, a pull force to the right. And then we know that would be tension away from the object through the rope. Okay, dalagi ka. Okay, so that is basically our free body diagram. Two, two. Okay, so this is our axis. Ah, so selalu melukis axis, just so that you don't get confused when you are trying to calculate it. Okay, so tadi kita tahu dia ada thirty degree thirty degree angle here. So if we try to draw this here, pula. Sini, then we have this. So we know that the angle thirty degree is supposed to be here, lah. Okay, so we can draw angle. Sini, theta. Theta is thirty degree. Okay. Okay. So that is our free body diagram. Don't forget. Don't forget to label them. M G. F. This is our tension. Okay, so that is your free body diagram. Now, so how do we do this? We again, uh, cina, um, it's up to you if you wanna do a table, ataupun bukan table. Uh, but I'll show you a way where you can do this uh using a table lah. Okay, so we have the force. Which is mg tension and the external force. Okay. The past two. Uh, this is the x component, and this is the y component. Okay. So mg dala mg we have to resolve this into x component zero lah sebab sekarang dia di y component. Yang ini x eh x pula ni y ni x ah. Okay, so this is zero y component. There is just negative mg y negative. So Bob, it is pointing down. Okay, and then we have tension. Tension we have both x and y component. So t x is um. Tukar this one to orange. So t x is here. This is our T X. This is our T Y. Okay. So T X is. Uh, T X component is T sine theta. Negative T sine theta. Sebab T dia is pointing to the left. And then Y component dia is positive. T Y pula. T cos theta. Sebab dia pointing upwards, so dia positif lah, okay. And then we have the force, which is x component dia just force, y component dia zero, okay. Okay, now, uh, what you can do is, since the load is in equilibrium, we know that the total force should equal to zero, okay. So Total force at the x component will be equal to negative t sine theta 
plus f equal to 0. Okay? So, from here, we know that f is equal to t sine theta. Alright? And then, we do for y component. y component is negative mg plus t cos theta equal to 0. And then, we have... Uh, uh, t cos theta equal to mg. Okay? So, this one, we are trying to look for the tension. So, force. Is the force given? Now, we only have... Okay, so we have to solve for the y component dulu lah ni. Okay, so the y component t is equal to mg over cos theta. Okay, so substitute mg, m is 250 kilogram. Uh, tulis lah nanti, bingung. 9.81. And then cos is 30 degree. Then you'll get tension there to be 2,833 Newton. Okay? Okay. Now, question B pula. This will cari force. So, can, let's just substitute T into 1. T into 1. Then you get the force to be 1,417 Newton. Okay? Sorry, it's a bit messy, but I hope you can understand what I'm trying to do here. So, just firstly, try to draw a table, label each forces, and then resolve it into X and Y component. Make sure to consider the direction, whether it is going to the left or going to the right. Remember, going to the left and going downwards is negative. Going to the right and above is positive. Okay? So, that is how you solve example number one.